Many scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Hey there, gals and ghouls. I can't talk as the singing. Hey there! I want to say happy early Halloween. I know Halloween's a week away and I haven't made a Halloween video yet, so I'm sorry about that, but here is my Halloween video of 2015 and I'm basically gonna show you three really quick, easy, very low cost Halloween ideas and two of them actually involve the exact same makeup and outfit I'm wearing now except you can basically put black clothes on and be anything you want for Halloween just based on accessories and whatever you want to do. So this is the makeup and shirt I guess for the vampire and devil costume and then I'm also going to show you guys how to look like a beautiful angel so I really hope you guys enjoy it and if you decide to take any of these ideas please 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 please, please either send me a picture or post one but yeah that's all I have to say let's get right into the three Halloween costume ideas so before we get started on anything, I just decided to curl my hair. This is completely up to you, um, but yeah, I just decided to. So for this makeup look, I'm just going to pull it back in a really messy bun so I can do my makeup. So for the angel look, I'm starting out with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, and I'm just going to put this all over my eyelids to serve as a base and to lighten up my eyes because, after all, we are going to be an angel, so we want everything to look bright and pure. So you just want to blend this in so it looks really, really soft and there are no harsh lines or uneven spots. So after you are done blending, you're going to take a white sparkly eyeshadow, any one you want to. This happens to be a color from a Maybelline quad, um, but you just want to put this all over your lid so it adds some extra sparkle. And then you can take a white eyeliner, either pencil or gel, whatever you want, and put it in your waterline. And so now I'm going to take this glitter eyeliner, this one happens to be by Urban Decay, and I'm going to put this in my inner corners and in the inner fourth of my eye. And then you can put some mascara on the top and bottom lashes, and yeah, that's it for the eyes. So for the lips, you can take any pinky color, and sorry for the spot on my lip, I was on Netflix last night and my computer fell on my face and cut my lip, so that was fun. Anyway, you can just put a white, nope, not white, a pink lipstick on, and then you can put the same white sparkly eyeshadow from before on top of your lips to make them shiny and more ethereal, and yeah, I think it's kind of a nice touch. So then that is it for the angel makeup, and now on to the costume. So here you can see an overview. So this is the costume before the accessory, so I'm just wearing an all white outfit. So this tank top is from Brandy Melville, it's just a white tank top, and then I'm wearing a skirt from American Apparel with lots of little pleats in it. I think it's called their tennis skirt, and it's really fun to twirl in. Now comes the fancy part, which is the angel wings. So you can just buy a pair of angel wings basically anywhere, but these ones were really cheap at Party City. Um, yeah, they're just really cool and sparkly, and I love them a lot. I think it went really well with this outfit, considering we are an angel. And the next step is going to be putting on a halo to really complete the look. I think it adds a really nice touch, and it's super festive. And so that is it for the angel costume. So now we are going to transform into the polar opposite, devil. So after you prime your eyes, you want to make sure that you add a transition color. So this can be a dark brown and orangey, something that will help the black blend into the rest of your eye. So this is really chunky right now, but trust me, I'm going to blend it, so don't worry. So when you put a transition color that's super pigmented, you just want to blend, 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 until you can't blend no more. Now here's the fun and slightly scary part, which is just globbing on the black eyeshadow. Now some people are pretty experienced at this, some people is kind of an everyday thing for them, but for me I rarely, rarely wear black eyeshadow, so you just want to be sparing and add a little bit at a time until you get your desired blackness and then you just really want to blend it out. And now putting some black on the lower lash line so that it's a little more balanced and it's not super top heavy. You can smoke that out if you want to as well so that it's not such a harsh line. Um, and then you can extend the black eyeshadow out to sort of make a wing and it'll help us guide our winged eyeliner. So I decided to put some black eyeliner in my waterline and liquid eyeliner off camera, but now I'm going to add some mascara again to my top and bottom lashes. 
Now we're going to line our lips. You can basically just use any lip liner you want. Um, yeah. So now I'm taking this really awesome matte red lipstick from L'Oreal and I'm going to put this everywhere in my lip. Yep. And then we're doing the same thing with shadow except now we're going to put black sort of towards the side. We're avoiding the center, but you can blend into the center if it, the lines are a little harsh between the red and the black, but I think this adds a really cool effect and it, it gives a lot of depth to your lips. So that is it for the devil makeup. Now onto the costume. You can basically just wear any black clothes you want and I decided to purchase a pair of devil horns and a trident thing from Party City. Both very cheap, but I think it really adds to the look and helps people understand what you are. But for the actual clothes, you can totally just wear black. Now, if you want to ditch the devil horns, you can get a pair of fangs. These ones are so cool. They're retractable and they mold to your teeth, so they're really, really comfortable. I also got these at Party City. And, oh my god, guys, I am obsessed with these. They're so cool. So that concludes the vampire and devil makeup and costume. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up car beeped in the distance. So either comment your favorite costume down below or what you're going to be for Halloween because I'd love to see what you guys are doing for this very, very fun holiday. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys loved it because I love you and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Stay spoopy. I don't know what spoopy is. Spoopy like a Tumblr thing because I hear it all the time on Tumblr and I have no idea what it is. So.